Morgan. I'm 17 years old. Um, I really like learning new things, so I'm going to go see what it's like to be a production worker. Jordan will learn everything about the role that production line team leader Mark Connolly knows only too well. He started his career as a production worker nearly 10 years earlier and has progressed into his leadership role with the aid of continuous on-job training and experience. Hi. How you going? I'm good. So you want to be a production worker? Yep. Okay, we've got some great things lined up for you today. Let's go and have a look, eh? Cool. Production workers in the food and beverage industry prepare ingredients, operate machinery and bottle and package products. But before we charge onto the production floor, Jordan is suited up with important safety gear and hygiene equipment. Because she is making food products, hygiene is critical. And more important than fashion. Do you look good? No, that's fine. <laughs> this is like extra clean. Extra clean, that's us. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Today, Jordan will be producing the energy drink, and the production floor is a remarkable new world for her. But she already has skills of her own to drop into the mix. So we're going to start weighing up the dry um, goods. So have you ever baked a cake before? Uh, yep. So you've done some weighing up at home and all that kind of stuff? A little bit. Awesome, so you won't have a problem with this. So first up, dry acidic acid, so we need 5.9 kg. OK. Weighing out of dry ingredients is an important part of the process. If an ingredient is weighed incorrectly or a wrong ingredient used, a whole batch of product could be lost. Accuracy is really important for a consistent, consumable product. So, the process has begun, but there's a lot more to this drink than Jordan realises. So you haven't just got these two um, to put in, you've got all the slot. I mean all of this. All of it. Has to go in there. OK. So we'll put our water in. Can turn that. This is very heavy, but uh, I'm doing it. It's quite fun, but, but nerve wracking at the same time. It's really cool. Okay, Jordan, it's a bit too much for you to do all these pellets, so I might get one of the bench makers to give you a hand, eh? I agree. So now all that's left to do is put in the liquid sugar. Okay. We've always thought that if, if you come in with the right attitude and you're willing to learn, um, you will succeed within the business. And this is all made up. This tank holds up to 75,000 litres. Is that like a million cans? Yeah, something like that. Personal skills for someone into, getting into this role would be good communication skills, good math skills. OK, we've got our empty cans here. We've made up the batch. We're ready to fill. So we're going to fill these off and it's going to be packaged. Awesome. With 400 cans being filled every minute, it's important Jordan does a quality check on the can itself. Hi. Hi, Jordan. We're just going to open them up, pour it out. Okay. Now we're actually going to cut it. Okay. And have a look how the actual seams are, or how the lid is sitting on top of the can. Yep. Oh, that is beautiful. You want to line it up, yep, in the middle. Okay, if you have a to do with it a feel, you'll see the picture show up on your screen. A microscope shows clearly how the lid is attached and automatically detects any problems. What are these green lines? So it just means the actual lid is tight. There's no air gap getting in. Okay. The lids are perfect, but for Jordan and Mark, it's what's on the inside that counts. OK, Jordan, um, we've got our standard here. Um, and we've also got our sample of the line, the one that you, you batched. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a juice tasting on that and see what it tastes like. Even with all the automatic machines, tasting is done by people, because people will be drinking the finished product. So what are we tasting for? First of all, we're going to have a look at the appearance and seeing if the standard and the sample look the same in colour. OK. Secondly, we'll smell the odour. And then thirdly, we're going to taste it. We're going to taste it for that carbonation. Give it a bit of a swirl around your mouth, just to get those flavours, those, all those notes. This one tastes slightly different. OK, what kind of notes is it sort of like giving us that? Um, I think it might be sweeter. A little bit sweeter? Just a little bit. Um, I think the standard had more carbonate in it. Yep, yep. OK, so I'll make a note of that. So, is it acceptable for uh, packing? Yes. Yes. That's a big call from Jordan, but what does the expert reckon? I'll tell you what, Jordan, you're bang on. Because um, I've got to totally agree with you. So well done on that. 
tasting is part of the overall training for people within the food and beverage manufacturing industry. Most companies like Frucor give training on the job to advance their employees' skills and have people like Philip Penhal who help support staff throughout their training. Oh, what we're looking for for people at Frucor is people that have got a, the, an attitude where they want to, where they want to grow, they want to develop, they want willing to change and wanting to change things. I personally like to see um, the, the workers on the floor develop and taking ownership of their work areas and then we've seen that through all the training that we put through. So they're coming up with improvement ideas, um, they're getting involved in team meetings, um, they're making decisions on the floor. With the quality of the batch assured, it's packaging time. And Jordan needs to help change the packaging machine from single packs to multi-packs of eight cans. Now we're going to change some parts. We uh, buddy our uh, new recruit up with staff who are qualified, and so it's, it's how to run a machine, it's how to, how to do things. No, I haven't done anything like this before, but I am having fun with it. Stop, finish, ready to go. So Jordan, after all that, that's our finished product. Shall we say? Well done, Jordan. Jordan will leave this world behind for now and let the robots take over. So, how did Jordan do? Yeah, it'd be nice to have Jordan on board. I think she's um, come on with the right attitude. Uh, she's willing to give anything a go. I think she'll do really well. I think it was more than what I thought it would be. The, the huge like machinery around even the whole like scientific thing. I definitely want to um, do this job. I think that it's cool for like team building and um, you develop a lot of new skills. So I think it was awesome. While there are no required qualifications to enter a career as a production worker, good communication skills and an understanding of maths are needed. But it's your motivation to develop your skills that's really essential. You'll need to be excited about ongoing learning as training is given on the job and is linked to NZQA qualifications to cover the skills and knowledge needed by people in the manufacturing environment. The National Certificate in Competitive Manufacturing Level 2 starts entry-level production workers on a training pathway for careers in this industry. With more experience and ongoing training, you can progress to the Level 4 National Certificate in Competitive Manufacturing needed by team leaders like Mark, with opportunities to obtain a diploma in competitive manufacturing. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.